What up guys and ladies, welcome back to another video as you can tell by the title. This is my 400 hour progression video and I gotta say right off the rip, this is the best I've been at the game and the most comfortable. It's called I figured out something. What did I figure out you may ask? Well, do you want to be faster than a fox in socks? Faster than the eagle off the McChigle off that Da Vinci's? Wait, that's not what cost amigos. Anyways, what I figured out was being progressive on the throttle. Now on the 250, you'd be like, oh, I can tap it and get away from it. Well, shut up. I tapped your old lady, young man. But anyways, on the 450s in the corner, you'll notice the most because you're not going to be able just to hold it wide open like the 250s. And once I figured this out, and it was like an on and off switch for me, but literally, um, I was doing very bad on the 450s for a day. I was having a bad day on the game, and I took a little break. And I went and looked at, I was on YouTube, I seen Skills video, he, he did the Forest um, World Record, yeah, the Beta 18 Forest World Record. And I was like, dude, he's like moving in those corners. Went back and watched it, and he was being very progressive on the throttle. And I'm like, I gotta go try that. And literally it was like an on and off switch for me. And I was racing on the Pepity servers, and if you know, it when you beat your record, it says it. Like up at the top, say, oh, new record. And I literally, on, I was thinking I was on a classic rot classic map rotation server, and literally, I beat my record to like half the maps that's in that rotation in literally an hour and a half. But yeah, like it's a, it's a game breaker. If you are playing this game, and you play this game, whichever, and you are a, you like to tap it, go right now, get on the game, and go on there. Oh, oh, got a little squiggly. Get on there right now. And go in there and be progressive with the throttle. I promise you'll beat your records. Literally, like I said, it was an on and off switch for me. And for some reason, it made the game like so much more fun. I love this game at the end of the day, and I have a lot of fun on it. But it made it so much more better. Now go try right now! Don't disrespect me! Yeah. But, dude, uh, like I said, it was game changer. Right here is a good example of it. In this turn, you'll... You'll either be off the gas or loop out, but when you get that, oh, <laughs> oh, it was butter. That reminds me of, oh, I got the taste of butter in my mouth right now. Oh, I just shucked the dog water out of some corn, and it was super good. It came from Florida. Oh, I think Kodak Black grew it himself. But, yeah, y'all got to get that little tap. Oh, 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 fifth gear. Let me throw an oppo. Just a baby one. Run up the side of the map. Ooh. Oh, God, oh. But yeah, you all got to go figure that out. Like I said, if you are new to this game, and before you get into the habit of tapping, go ahead and give the progressive throttle a try. You will not regret it. Okay, let me stop being goofy and riding. Oh my god! How did I keep that in line right there? Like, I'm trying to run a super, a decent hot lap. Like, this isn't a hot lap video at the end of the day. I guess it's a progression video, so I should be ripping. But this next lap, I'm going to put it down on the ground. I mean, I'm going to put it on the ground. Yeah, this I haven't been recording that long. You know what? I definitely got to make a, a few more laps. But here we go. Like I said, I'm not going to go balls to the walls where a chance of me wrecking. I'm about... Yeah, let's say my chances of wrecking are going to be about... Uh, let's go like 85%. I'd like to run at least a 104. 104.5. And if you're thinking in your head, you know, when you change plan or change controls, you know, it's be like, it takes a while to get used to. But this, literally, for me, it was like an on and off switch. So, yeah. And another little tip, like, I kind of think of stuff I would do in real life and I put in this game and it actually works. Like, put a little bit of weight on the, your outside, especially in sharper turns, and you can go a lot faster. Like, right here, I'm leaning to the left. Yeah, that definitely helps. This has a chance of being a pretty fast lap. Like I said, I'm not going to the balls of the walls where I'm going to wreck because I don't want to make it a super boring video by wrecking many times. What is that? I had to be in a 103. Yeah, 10399. I slowed down there for a second. We'll go ahead and put down another one. Oh, oh, we're getting a little squiggly. Oh, oh, rip. Oh, well, we got a pretty decent hot lap in. Let's go ahead and finish this lap off. I've been loving this game though. Like this is the best game since sliced bread games. 
Oh, I just think they came out with a Dead Island 2. I don't know why they waited so long to make a second version of that game, because I'm pretty sure I was playing that game in like 1999. It's like I was born in. But yeah, if any of y'all have played that game, please let me know in the comments, because the first Dead Island came out, like, it definitely had to been out in like 2010, I think. Oh, not PS2, it was PS3. Yeah, PS3. Let me hot lap this last section of the course, since the video is almost over. Oh, I was trying to show what you can do if you get good at the progressive throttle. There we go. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like, comment, and sub. Please comment below and let me know if you all know about Dead Island. And if you all try the tapping, let me know if it made you better. Please, I'm actually very curious. I'm going to tell as many people as I can to do this. Anyways, guess what? Have a good day.